So as we enter into the Word of God on this uh, second Sunday of uh, Advent, um, it, it's really a time for us to open to God's Word speaking uh, to us. And we, we started out that, that in the prophet Baruch, who was really speaking to the people of Israel at the time, but he's also speaking to us in our time, and saying to us that God is leading us, Israel, in joy by the light of his glory, with his mercy and his just justice to accompany us. So God is with us. God is with us. That's where we start. And then in the Gospel, we hear that St. John the Baptist was like a voice in the desert crying to prepare the way of the Lord, make straight the path to our hearts and make straight the path to our lives. Uh, and then St. Paul's letter to the Philippians is where we're going to spend some time this morning. And my little guy that, uh, that uh, read a reading, thank you so much, and he read the reading on his tippy toes, by the way. <laughs> tippy toes. I remember doing that myself. It's quite an interesting moment. Um, and and St. Paul's letter is really a letter that one I could have written to you, or Father Peter could have written to you, or one that you could write to your children and to your grandchildren, or to your husband or your wife, either way. And so as we dive into it, kind of think of it in those terms. And so as we hear the words, brothers and sisters, I pray always with joy in my every prayer for all of you. That's what I do for you. I pray with joy in my prayer for every single one of you. And that's actually what Jesus is doing for us right now. That's where we begin. He is praying for us with joy in every prayer he offers to the Father. Every prayer. Because of your partnership for the gospel from the first day until now, so the partnership of the gospel is really the good news of Jesus Christ. That Jesus has lived among us, he's he suffered for us, gave his life for us, died, and he's risen from the dead, so he's in our midst. That's the gospel that we share together, and that's the partnership we have with him. When the water of baptism was poured upon us, and we were baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So kids, with me, we are baptized together. Make the sign of the cross, kids, at least. That also means the adults. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're all kids before God, by the way. So, uh, And then, St. Paul writing, but I can say it too. I am confident of this, that the one who began the good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. So the one who began the work in us is really God, but it could be through our parents, because I know my mother taught me how to pray, my father taught me how to be a Christian in business, and so that's part of the invitation, is to open ourselves up to all those that have affected us in faith, because we are in a true partnership together. Until the day of Christ, now, the day of Christ can be two things. One, when God calls us home to heaven. Okay, that's one. The other is the second coming of Jesus. And full second coming. Angels singing. I mean, it, what, image it. It's, it's powerful. It's powerful. God is my witness. How I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And I can tell you, and I know I speak for Father Peter, when we were down to nobody at Mass during the COVID-19 crisis, and you were watching us at Mass, it is tough to pray to a camera. <laughs> Very tough to pray to a camera. So when we got to the point where we could have 10 people here in church, yay! <laughs> yay! So in that spirit, uh, that longing is part of the longing we have. But it's also a longing for the birth of Jesus in our lives in a new way and a fresh way. 
That's what these candles of Advent symbolize for us. That we take a step in faith the first week, in hope the second week, in joy the third week, and in love the fourth week. And it brings us in confidence to Him, to trust in Him, to love Him. And this is my prayer. And again, St. Paul's writing, but I'm with you. And, and this could be yours for your, your husband, your wife, your children. That your love may increase ever more and more in knowledge and every kind of perception. That your love may increase. So, kids, turn to your parents right now if they're with you or your grandparents and say, I love you. There you go. And if... If your husband or wife is here, tell them, I love you. If your husband or wife is not here, say the prayer, I love you. If you're not married, and I'm not, by the way, I'm married to you, but we, I say to you, I love you. And Father Peter? I love you three. <laughs> we didn't even practice that. <laughs> so the knowledge and every kind of perception of love to discern what is of value so that you may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ so what is of value faith hope joy in the risen Jesus and love that's really of value your love for your husband and wife, your love for your children, your love for your grandchildren, your love for the people of God. That's where value starts. And then to hear the words, not only for us to be blameless, in other words, we place our sins, our weaknesses before God, asking God to heal them and bring healing to us. That's where the gift of the sacrament of confession really comes in. But to be filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through the Lord Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. And righteousness is about right living. It's about holiness. It's about goodness. It's about sharing the love of Jesus Christ and to to build us to that point where when we do meet Jesus for the last time on this earth he will recognize us and he will know us but even more we will recognize him in faith in hope in joy and in love and that's where the glory of God and the praise of God really comes forth. All of that is a grace and a blessing for us. All of that is really, I pray always with joy in every prayer for all of you. God loves you. God is with you. God is guiding you. Let us pray for the grace to live in faith in Him, to live in hope in Him, to live in expected joy of His birth in our midst, and to live in love together. Amen. Amen.